Frustrated by losing to heroes you thought were weaker? Tired of getting dominated in your lane? Want to know how pros counter their opponents? Well then, this video is especially for you. <laughs> Hi guys, Kazuki here and in this video we will learn how to counter all the heroes in general. Question and answer round time. The first question is from Icody and he is asking if Nolan is the father of Layla. Yes, Nolan is the father of Layla and he is coming out on September 30. Be ready to play a different and one of a kind hero. The second question is from Ivy Villa and he is asking if I like the new Farsa skin. Yes my guy, I love it. The theme song fits her well and her futuristic Japanese outfit looks cool. And for its price, I think it's worth it. Do drop your good bet and juicy questions in the comment section and I will answer them. Keep an eye out for redeem codes in this video. Before starting, let me clear out the points I am going to mention in this video that can be applicable to all the roles in the game and you have to adjust the tips accordingly for all the roles. If you want a detailed explanation for each role, fill the comment section with we want more. Starting with the first tip, knowing the hero's strengths and weaknesses. Certainly one of the most important things to keep in mind if you want to counter your counterpart. This can be achieved by playing many heroes as you can have a brief idea of what the hero's strengths and weaknesses are. Do not be afraid to try out all the heroes in the game, there are 120 of them currently. Knowing how the skill works can be very beneficial in evading them or making them have less impact. For example, if you are facing against a Uranus in the lane, there is no point in wasting your skills in lowering his HP down if you can't finish him off. He will just regenerate from his passive. But if you keep your skills and wait for your assassin or the team in general and use your skills at that moment to make him use his skills, you can finish him off with the help of your team. Now I guess that you are clear about why you should know about heroes. Let's move to the next point which is waiting for the right timing. Now this is where things get interesting. This will be the most important tip to keep in mind according to me. In a strategy based game, timing is everything. You have to wait for the enemy to use their skills or rather I will say make them waste their skills which will make their hero far less effective. When you wait for the right timing, not only do you keep your arsenal of skills ready to use but you also play mindfully about your surroundings as you are waiting patiently and do not get caught in abrupt situations. Let's make this more clear with an example. Here Leomod is trying to farm the wave of minions. Now in this case, rather than directly using my ultimate, I will just scare him out with my first and make it look like I am engaging him. The moment he uses his second skill, I am going to engage him so that he cannot escape my skills. And let me make this more clear with another example. Here I am playing Fanny. I am constantly watching the team fight happen and assessing the situation and what can I do here. Kufra has used the second skill, now it's the green light for me to go and take out the backline. So be wise and smart while playing. And let's move on to the next tip, out rotating. Now this is also one of the major things to keep in mind if you want to dominate your enemy. To do this, you need to completely understand how to rotate. I think this video on rotation which we made earlier can help you get the gist of it. You need to constantly keep a track of what is happening on the map rather than waiting in the bush to ambush for an eternity. You can utilize the time in the bush to analyze what is happening on the map. Here I can see Lancelot retreating back and he is retreating to near his raid buff area so let me advance position myself to the buff near him and wait. And here is our imposter, an easy finisher. Let me make this clearer with another example. Here I am playing Kadita and I was late in the team fight as I was taking my minion. Now their mage is most likely going to come and clear the wave. And I am guessing she will come from these parts. Let me advance position myself by staying in the middle bush of these parts. You can see how advanced positioning helps. These small things can make you easily get an edge over your opponent. Moving on to our next step, keeping a track of their builds. Another minute 
but very helpful tip. When you click here, you can see what the enemy is building and do some advanced preparation. This can help you very much to plan in advance and calculate your moves. How? Example situation coming right away. Here we can see the enemy team's MM has already bought Wind of Nature as I was constantly ganking in her lane. Now what I will do here is bait her out before using my ultimate. Wind of Nature use. Now this will be an easy kill. Do you get how this calculated approach helped me easily kill her again? Let me make this clearer by giving the same situation but using the usual approach. See how the enemy MM survived because I didn't bait her out in using the wind of nature. Now let's move on to the next step. Advanced tricks in lanes. Now this includes tricks like freezing the lanes in the late game. This can be done in the late game to deny your enemy farm and maintain your gold lead on them. This can come in very handy because we all know how items affect our heroes, right? The next trick is somewhat similar to the lane freeze in the late game. But it is done in the early game to force your enemy to make a mistake or just annoy the hell out of them. They will try to take their minions by coming out of their safe space and this will be your chance to bully them even more. Another advanced trick is lane cutting. There are three types of lane cuts. The general lane cut, the advanced lane cut and the base lane cut. Knowing when to use each one of them is an art. And don't worry, we will also teach you the art if you keep showing us your love. Only 60.5% of our viewers have subscribed. So hit that subscribe button and we will teach you all the arts in MLVV. Use the drafting phase to your advantage. Drafting phase can be one of the most crucial phases if you know how to use it well. Generally, the meta heroes are logged in the first pick and second picks on the opposite side. Now comes the opportunity for you to take the hero's natural counters and prepare yourself in advance. If the enemy doesn't show their main picks, as in like the jungler or marksman, you can play it safe by drafting a good hero you are good at. Drafting according to the situations gives you more chance of winning the match. It's a different story if you mess it up in the actual game. Drafting nicely by picking counters is more like a way to help you make your game more comfortable but without applying the tips I mentioned earlier, this tip becomes useless. So make sure to apply all the tips. The next tip is more like in the opposite situation. Don't panic when the enemy has your counters. The drafting phase is done and the enemy has picked your counters. The first tip you need to do is not panic and cry over that you are outdrafted. Apply all the tips I mentioned earlier and switch on your defense mode. What is defense mode you may ask? It will be playing safe and getting your core items first. When you apply these steps, now wait for them to be distracted like in this situation. As the Change, I know Lolita can easily absorb all of my ultimate with her second skill. What I need to do here is, yes, you guessed it right. Wait for her to use her shield first before launching my machine gun. And this is how you recounter your counter with some little technicalities. Or let me explain it with another situation here. There's a saber against me. As a Ling, I can easily get one shotted by him if I use ultimate. But he can also wait for me to use my ultimate. So what I need to do is here to get anti -curious. Now in both the situation, it's more likely I will be able to survive. So keep calm and keep your composer and move on to our last tip for today. Positioning The most important tip of them all. Without this, maximum of the tips cannot be done efficiently and you will surely struggle with it. There are three types of heroes in the game. The melee heroes, the mid-range heroes and the long-range heroes. All of the different types of positioning and mastering each one of them may take some time but trust me it will be worth it. When you can have a brief idea of how to position your heroes, you can easily take the maximum potential of their skills also. It can help you with engaging, disengaging, playing safe or playing aggressively. Now this is something you will have to master by playing more and more games. So come let's grow together. So did you find these tips helpful? Will you apply them in your gameplays now? 
share your opinion in the comment section that will be all for this video thank you guys for watching keep supporting kazuki official